One of the most hopeful stories we've covered is about cancer treatment. We've been telling you about the use of an isotope found only in Oak Ridge for medical advancements, and now we have even more to share with you about that. The No One Fights Alone event held in Oak Ridge brought together government officials, execs from nuclear innovation company TerraPower, and Cardinal Health, and environmental management leaders. They got to tour the sites where the work is actually happening right now. You know, our backyard is home to the world's only stockpile of uranium-233. It's left over from the previous research in the 1950s and 60s. Now, part of EM's mission is to safely get rid of that radioactive material. But first, an isotope extracted from it is being used for next-generation cancer treatment. Now, there's a limited amount of U-233, so pulling out that life-saving isotope prior to disposing of it is vital. This is all possible through a public-private partnership. We had a chance to talk with the people who are bringing this life-saving treatment to market. There was a lot of that while talking about this. Targeted alpha therapy is a form of nuclear medicine designed to really deliver very precise medicine just to the cancer cells. It can hone in on the disease without damaging healthy tissue. Through this project, up to 100 times more doses will be available each year. That's nearly half a million annually. It goes without saying that all of us will be subjected to have to face death at some point. But if there is a way for us to be able to prolong that and give these patients extra time, I think we'll be able to have these conversations or physicians will be able to have these conversations with patients to give them another option to hopefully buy themselves a little bit more time. Nuclear, isotope, pharmaceuticals, these words can feel intimidating. Don't fear nuclear. Who better to speak to trust in a treatment than a doctor who spent years telling patients science hadn't caught up to their cancer yet. I mean, we've experienced it directly through some of the clinical studies that we're doing where these patients who have exhausted all lines of therapy then get treated with a drug such as ours that uses actinium-225, and you literally see melting and disappearance of their tumors, and thereby giving these patients another lifeline to live out the rest of their lives. Cancer doesn't care where you live. Patients and families know access is everything. I will tell you in the US, um, there won't be a zip code we can't touch, and we can reach all major medical centers within three hours. So um, that's important when you're scheduling patients and making sure timely treatment occurs. Cardinal Health is a leader in nuclear medicine with a national network of pharmacies eventually. The goal is to take it global. I will tell you what, it's uh, humbling, uh, you know, especially when we visit the national labs and uh, see what they do and see how a group of scientists and people in industry, both from industry and academia, are coming together to cure cancer one day, or, or at, at a very minimum, uh, dramatically improve people's lives. For those at TerraPower overseeing this kind of research, we wonder, from that vantage point, where are we in the timeline of curing cancer for good? I don't, I don't think we're at the end. Uh, we're not at the beginning either. Uh, uh, I would put us between the middle, uh, maybe rounding third base, um, and starting to head home. And, and our hope for the future is, if we can't cure it, we can hold it at bay. Until then, the slogan rings true. No one fights alone. It takes a village and a team to bring us to where, to this destiny that we're looking forward to. Senator Marsha Blackburn sent in a video message to mark the occasion. Congressman Chuck Fleischman attended and spoke at the No One Fights Alone event. So where are we in the process and when will patients actually see the treatment? Right now, our team in Oak Ridge is extracting that thorium in hot cells. It's sent off to TerraPower while the remaining waste is shipped off for disposal. That's what's happening right now. We are told early stage clinical trials are expected to start this summer. Later stage clinical trials should come the following summer in 2024.